Hello, what's good YouTube? Hope you guys are all doing well today and welcome to another episode of Staying in D1. As you guys can see, we are at 16 points with two games remaining. That means both of these games are must-win games. If we lose either one of these games or even if we draw, we are out of the Division 1 title race. We have to go home with our bags and take a rest. We come up against this guy with a 4-1-2-1-2 full Serie A team. And the only thing I would have to say about his team is Andrea Pielo as a cam is probably not the smartest choice. He does have a lot of pace up there. Four-star skills on both uh, Muriel and Patu. But we eventually, finally in the 45th minute, Jesus Navas makes a run as we, as we feed him a chipped through ball there. And he goes near post, and we're going to go ahead and take a 1-0 lead before the half. One thing I have to say, guys, Jesus Navas in a 3-5-2, I would not recommend him. Um, he just, you know, sometimes you need to have the right left and right mid in a 3-5-2 in my opinion. If you don't have the left, if you have the right left and right mids, I think the 3-5-2 is a little bit stale. So it, it's it's not as fun as they don't they don't attack. It's good defensively, which I like because I take pride in my defense, guys. You, if anyone's watched the stream or you guys have watched my YouTube channel, you know, the big thing that I like is that I'm a good defender. I think one of the one of the best things about my FIFA playstyle is that is my defending, not really my attacking. You know, I, I can skill here and there. I can have nice goals, but my main strength is defending. Here we get a little bit lucky as he makes a tackle and the ball comes right to Lavetsi, who makes a run finally. And we end up winning the must-win game 2-0. So great, great uh, result there. And we're at 19 points with one game remaining. This is another win-or-go-home match. So there is nothing we can do but win this game. And I did... You, as you guys can see, I'm sorry for the frame rate lag, but I had to make some adjustments to the team, guys. I had to get rid of some of the players. Lavetsi just was not doing it for me. I don't know why, guys. He's been great for me in other teams, especially in a 4-3-3. In a 3-5-2, he wasn't that good. So I got rid of him, and I got rid of Navas. But if I get rid of Lavetsi, we would have had chemistry issues. So I went ahead and just got rid of pretty much the whole left side of the team. We got rid of Sako, Sissoko, and Lavetsi completely. And we went ahead with a Serie A left side here, and we went with... Giovinco, Ogbonna, and Vidal as our players. Now, Giovinco, while he does have a medium-medium work rate, for some reason he attacks way more than Lavezzi in a 3-5-2, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the positioning stat that I have to look at. I don't know if it's... I, I, I honestly can't explain it to you guys why that is, but Lavezzi does have a high work rate, um, high-low, I think, actually, and for some reason he just was invisible on my team, so I didn't use him. Ogbonna, I use him because he has great pace in a 3-5-2, two for an outside center back and you guys know that Ogbon is an absolute beast and he's, he's a crazy bargain for a couple thousand coins he's got eight, eight over over 80 pace he's like six three or six four or something like that um great defending stat great heading stat so he's just you know i had to go ahead and get him and then for cdm we went ahead with vidal just because he has a high high work rate it's always nice to get a little bit of extra attack in there um, he didn't get 9 chem, but whatever. This is the first time I didn't really care about chemistry. I just wanted to have the player I wanted. And in the right mid position, we went ahead with Di Maria. He's got a high attacking work rate, and he attacks way more than Navas for us. So that's what we went ahead and did. Opened a pack just for the hell of it, because I wanted to. Was bored. Didn't get anything. Never open packs with coins, guys. That's something I do not advise. So that's, you know, I did that there, but never do that. It's pr pretty much a waste. Even though I've gotten pretty lucky this year, <laughs> if you guys follow me on Twitter, actually, I posted a picture. I got Inform Lucas the day that the his Inform was uh, going to be done with. I got him on the last day on, on Tuesday. Opened a pack with coins and got him, and I was like, wow, my pack luck is insane this year. But in any case, uh, we play a fitness card, we play a morale card, and you guys can see that our team is quite different now. We still have Juan Mata, Podolski, Torres. We put Mikli on the bench to sub him in if we need him. Di Maria now on the right, Giovinco on the left, so things are going to be playing way better for us. And I, again, I can't explain it, guys, but Giovinco is so much better than Lavezzi for me. Unfortunately, he doesn't have five-star skills as he did last year. He's actually down to three-star skills, guys, which kind of sucks. Um, I don't think he should have gone down all the way down to three. Four would have been just fine. 
you know, I think EA messed up on that one, but that's okay. You know, I, I do like to skill here and there with five-star skillers, but as you guys can see, I don't stack my team with five-star skillers, so that's why you guys don't really see a lot of skill goals. Um, I want to use every player possible, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to just stack five-star skillers and, and use five-star skillers throughout all of FIFA 13. So that's why I always, you know, I, I literally use any player I can. I love players like Bielo, I love players like Fabregas, Xabi Alonso. Those are one of my favorite players to use. But as you guys can see here, he gets really lucky as the ball kept deflecting right to him. And finally, he ends up putting it in the net. And I was thinking to myself, oh no, this is a must-win game and I cannot screw this up right now. So we tried scaling a little bit there with a nice roulette. He lunges into the tackle and we draw the penalty. Yes, sir. And I didn't really know who to, you know, I was actually pretty nervous about this penalty. I didn't know who to take it. So I went ahead and I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead with Vidal. Probably not the best person to take this penalty, but I went ahead with him. Didn't know where to go with this one because every time I went down the middle, people were saving it. But I just went with my gut and went down the middle anyway. And he did not expect it, thank God. So we went ahead and equalized, and now I just felt, okay, I'm like, all right, now I'm good. I'm in control. Let's let's take control of this game now. Let's, let's, let's make it happen. So it's the 45th minute. We go ahead and cross in a corner, and Pepe out jumps everybody, and he scores for us and gives us the lead right before the half. But we doubled up on the 45 minute, 45th minute goals here <laughs> as Juan Mata, an incredible finish as he goes near post with his weak foot, just blasts it right past his keeper. And that's going to give us a 3-1 lead before the half. If I were him, I would be absolutely furious. Giving up one 45th minute goal is enough, but giving up two right before the half is probably the worst thing that can happen. So, as you guys can see here, I'm going to go ahead and make an adjustment. And the adjustment I make <laughs> is I took out Podolski. Uh, he just wasn't doing it for me, guys. I don't know what it is. I think it's like his movement. But I, I went ahead with Mikli. I love using Mikli. He's an absolute great player. If you guys have not used him, I've recommended him before in the past episodes. But right after the half, he actually gets an insane little deflection again. Right to Adam Johnson, who's going to volley it into the back of the net. And he draws closer now. It's 3-2. And I started getting nervous. I'm like... Damn it, I, this is a must-win game. I can't even draw. And to have him inch closer, it's just, you know, when people score that quickly after half, they just gain confidence. But I ended up slowing the game here right after he scored. You guys are going to see. We just tried to pick the passes, tried to find the lanes and thread the needle, and that's exactly what we did. Uh, Mickley's going to go ahead and find Vidal. Vidal lays it off, and we just thread the needle here with a great pass, and Vidal's going to put it in for us. Great goal from him. And we're just up two goals right away, not giving my opponent any room to breathe. Definitely don't want to let him get comfortable with the game. So we're up 4-2, and we get another corner here. Juan Mata is going to deliver the ball, and Ogbonna is going to do it. <laughs> what a great little floating header. It just floats right past the keeper, right below the crossbar, and goes in. Great little header right there, and we go up. 5-2, so we are running away with this must-win game, which is always good news. You know, it, I was really nervous at the beginning, but now feeling good. 5-2, uh, nothing can... He's not coming back from this one, guys. I was playing stellar defense, as you guys saw. Most, Both of his goals were pretty much lucky. Here, a great little fake shot from Fernando Torres. Breaks free in the 90th minute and scores top corner far post so we're going to go ahead and get another goal it's 6-2 but just as we doubled up in the 45th minute we're going to double up in the 90th minute so we're going to break free again with Torres who's going to lay it off with a nice little fake shot cuts into the to his uh strong foot his right foot and puts it in for us so that's how this one's going to end, guys. 7-2 in a must-win match. Feeling really great about that. Really happy that I made the adjustments to the team. And uh, we got to go ahead and win the division one more time. I believe that's three times in a row, guys, that we've won the division. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I am going to sw switch things up pretty soon. We had an open a pack. Didn't get anything out of it, unfortunately. But... Uh, uh, kind of disappointed. Can't complain, though. Did get silver last pack. I went ahead and opened up one more pack with coins, which I shouldn't have done as I didn't get anything anyway. So that's how this one's going to end, guys. We end up getting nothing in both packs. But we're going to go ahead and step into another race through Division 1 one more time tomorrow. And we'll start with a new episode, a new team, new formation, all that good stuff. So thank you for viewing this episode. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed this content, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow.
Peace.